this video, I want to help you get set up to install Joomla manually on your own desktop or laptop. I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to use MAMP. If you're on a PC, you'll need to use WAMP. Whichever operating system you're using, go ahead and download the software. Both of them are free. I'm going to download MAMP. Once you've got that downloaded, go ahead and install MAMP or WAMP like you would any other software package and accept all of the defaults in this setup process for all of the questions that they ask you. And then come back to the video when you're ready to go. Once again, I'm on MAMP and MAMP stands for Mac, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. These are the things that you need to make a Joomla site run. WAMP stands for Windows, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. There are two things you need to do in order to set up a Joomla website. The first thing is you'll need a database. Go ahead and find phpMyAdmin on your MAMP or WAMP and click on Databases and create a new one. We'll call this Joomlaville because that's the site we're building today. Click Create and that's it. That's all you need to do. Go ahead and close that window. Head over to Joomla.org. At the time of this recording, you'll download Joomla 3.5.1. The next thing you'll need to do is to unzip that file wherever MAMP or WAMP is storing those files. If you want to know that, click on Preferences, click on Web Server, and you'll see your document route right here. Mine are at Rod Martin Sites MAMP. Click that little arrow, and this is another site that I've been working on. Go ahead, find that download, and copy it into your directory. Go ahead and unzip that. And one of the things I do when I'm working on a local host is I keep my database name and my site name all the same. Go ahead and rename that folder to Joomlaville. All right. The next thing you need to do, well, is to just go to that URL. So back over to MAMP, go to the Web Start page, remove all the MAMP information, and just go to Joomlaville. And you should see the Joomla installation screen ready to go. Well, let's go ahead and get this installed. It's really quick and really simple. For the site name today, we're going to use Joomlaville. We're going to build a site all about Joomla. In the description, put this is a site for all things Joomla. For the administrator email, go ahead and put your email address in here. I'm on a local host, so I'm going to use a really simple username and password. If you're out on the web, please don't do this. I'm using admin and admin. This is a site that nobody can get to. But if you're even planning on putting this site out on the internet, please make sure you're using a strong username and password. This is one of the way hackers can get into your site. So I recommend not using the word administrator for your name and using a very strong administrator password. Again, I'm just using admin and admin today. If you want your site to be offline when it launches, well, then go ahead and change that to yes. I'll leave it at no for now. Click next. The database configuration is something you should have already set up. If you're out on the web and you haven't done that, head over to your cPanel first and do that. Once again, I'm on a local host and I have a database called Joomla 3 set to go. You'll note that the table prefix is randomly generated. Ideally, it's three or four characters long and I usually just let Joomla do this for me. But if I want my own prefix, I can just put it in here with an underscore to separate the table names. If by chance you're actually installing Joomla over a previous version and you've already got a database, well then you might want to just say remove the tables or back them up. Either one is acceptable and it really depends on what your site is doing. Go ahead and put your credentials in and click Next. Now if you got an error message here, you just click the back button and fix your credentials. 
On the last screen here, we get to install some sample data. Now, we're not going to do that for this particular course, but there is some great sample data here provided by Joomla. I really like Learn Joomla or the blog version. Both of those are great. All of them are great, but I really like those two. They're really great for Joomla beginners to learn some of the powerful features that Joomla has to offer. If you want your configuration emailed to you, turn that to yes. And then finally, down here at the bottom, all of these should be green. If any of them are red, then stop right now and correct the error. If you're out on the web, talk to your web host. Usually the ones I see most often are display errors might be on, and eh, not so much anymore, but it used to be that magic quotes were turned on or even safe mode was on. If any of these are in the red, you do need to talk to your host before you continue. If you're on a local host, and some of these aren't exactly right. Again, if you're using MAMP Pro, uh, display errors might be on. Don't worry about it. But if you don't need to worry about it quite as much, but if your PHP version is too old or magic quotes is turned on, well, then that's a big issue. You need to fix that. Go ahead and click Install. And it's done. Click Remove Installation Folder and head over to Administrator. Go ahead and log in with the credentials you put in a minute ago. And then at the top of the screen here, Joomla wants your permission to collect some basic statistics. No identifying data is captured at any point, but these statistics help the Joomla project improve. So I'd encourage you to say always. You can always turn it off later if you don't want it. Last thing before we finish this video. Could you click on System and Global Configuration Click on the System tab and change the session settings to 360. That's going to keep us logged in as administrators for three hours. It's just really helpful as we build our site throughout this course. Click Save and Close and we'll move to the next video.